Van Cleef & Our Pals is one of the most expensive, exclusive, and one of the hottest luxury jewelry brands on the market today. Looking to add a piece to your collection and wondering if VCA jewelry is worth it? Tune in to this episode to find out. Welcome back to Jewels Weekly. My name is Anastasia, and I know I always say that I love everything on the show that I bring up to show you, but Van Cleef, I really love. I can't help myself with this brand. The three main reasons I love this brand is one, it came about from a love story, and I happen to be a sucker for love. Two, I am infatuated with all things French. And three, the Alhambra collection. Van Cleef and Arpels was born out of a love story when Alfred Van Cleef married Estelle Arpels in 1895. It was like Romeo and Juliet without the dysfunctional families. With this magical union, the Van Cleef and Arpels family united their families and passion for precious stones and formed the French luxury jewelry house in 1896. Van Cleef and Arpels was not just the trusted jeweler for aristocrats, but also for royalty. VCA was honored with creating a crown for Empress Farah Pahlavi for her coronation in 1967. Perhaps one of the company's biggest honors was receiving the French patent for a proprietary gem setting style called Certi Mystery, or in plain English, the mystery setting. This setting uses a technique in which the stones are so closely placed together, making the prongs invisible and creating an unbroken swatches of color. This technique is incredibly time consuming and can require up to 300 hours of work. These settings happen to be so exclusive because only a few pieces are produced each year. In 2009, a piece of this mystery setting sold at an auction at Christie's in New York for a little over $326,000. Back to the 60s for a minute. This was such an important and creative decade for VCA because this era brought about creations like whimsical animal pins, rope twist designs, spectacular evening bags, and the birth of the iconic Alhambra collection. The most recognizable and in-demand BCA collection is Alhambra, duh, which is exactly what I brought from the vault. Of all the jewelry motifs created by Van Cleef and Arpels, in my opinion, and most I think would agree, the most widely identifiable and symbolic is the Alhambra, which was first created in 1968. The collection uses four-leaf clover motifs and is said to have been inspired by the scalloped archways of the Alhambra Palace in Granada, Spain. The clover motif is said to be a good luck charm to the owner and represents love, health, fortune, and luck. During its 50-year history, the Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra has been almost continually refreshed and revised, making it one of the most collectible, fine jewelry motifs. As for me, I aspire to one day own an entire set from the Alhambra collection. Sure, I'll have to save some money for quite some time, but I think the most difficult part will actually be choosing the colors as there are now so many options. If you own a VCA Alhambra item, which color combination did you choose? I would also like to know what was it about the piece that made you buy it? Obviously, VCA is a celebrity favorite. Historically, the brand has been loved by royalty, members of high society, and classic style icons such as Elizabeth Taylor, Grace Kelly, and Greta Garbo. Present day, Van Cleef & Arpels is a favorite to countless fashionistas, influencers, and modern celebrities like Kate Middleton, Reese Witherspoon, Julia Roberts, and Mariah Carey, just to name a few. I have a question for you. When buying jewelry, do you consider the possibility that if you ever try to resell it, you won't get as much? Let's talk moolah and the VCA resale market. Yes, VCA is sold at seriously high prices. An example, there's a 314% markup for VCA engagement rings compared to similar engagement rings. The great news happens to be that this brand holds its value exceptionally well. When it comes to resale values, VCA ranks as one of the most worthwhile investments in high-end jewelry. Most luxury goods depreciate over time, but generally speaking, on the secondhand or estate market, VCA, generally in great condition with its branded box and official paperwork, can be worth up to 50% of its purchase price. 
vintage jewelry by Van Cleef and Arpels, like the necklace, earrings, and ring that I'm wearing, consistently remain in high demand due to its exceptional design, high quality, and simply because, you guessed it, it's VCA. On the topic of what I'm wearing, this beautiful timepiece is a part of the Love Stories watch collection. And in my opinion, this is the most stunning collection in the Swiss watchmaking industry today. So, wondering if it is worth it? The answer is a million times yes. Although most VCA jewelry comes with a major price tag, their history of innovation, prestige, and flawless material make their jewelry well worth every single penny. That's all for today, folks. I so appreciate you tuning in to today's episode of Jewels Weekly. If you love the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for new episodes. See you next time.